Hey guys, welcome to Divinity Original Sin 2. I'm really looking forward to getting into this game. I haven't played any of the previous versions of this game, so this is going to be entirely new for me, but uh, I've heard it's quite an epic game. Uh, even the introductory section I've heard can take uh, quite a long time just going through it, so we're going to go straight into the, uh, the story mode here. Um, single player. And I don't exactly know what the difference is between the Honor, Tactician, Classic, and Explorer mode. I guess the Explorer mode, you don't engage in battles. Uh, classic mode has both. Tactician, I guess, is more about the battles. Honor mode, I'm not sure what that's about. Let's go for Classic mode. You'll need your wits about you both in and out of combat. So we're going to start with um, building our own character. There are a number, number of preset characters that you can use, and I think I might start with one of those because they do add some plot elements to the story. And I'll show you what I'm talking about in a second. So we have uh, a few uh, races that we can choose from. Dwarf, Elf, Human, and Lizard. There's also the Undead versions of those as well. I'm going to stay away from the Undead uh, for this first playthrough at least. And then we get to the Origin characters. The first one here is Beast. Uh, we can spin him around and we can um, give him a big spin there as well. Um, he's got uh, various talents and we've got classes here as well. The Conjurers, I'm not sure how many classes there are. There are quite a few of them uh, to choose from and they have their own abilities and skills. And uh, so it's all very, very interesting. But um, the first of the the preset characters here is Beast. We can listen to his story as well. They each have their own story and they each add a different uh, plot twist to the game. So we have Fane, uh, Ifan Ben Mezd, the human. Uh, we have Lose here as well, and I, I think I might play Lose because she seems to be the, the most interesting, and uh, we'll have a listen to her story. All my life I've been a performer, a musician, beloved and celebrated by all. But I have a secret. I'm also a playground for sprites and spirits and worse. The voice that rings inside me now is darker than any that came before. Almost caused a bunch of my fans to rip each other to pieces. <laughs> but you can trust me. I've got this under control. <sighs> Step one, find out who or what is trying to take control of my mind. Step two, make it sorry it ever tried. So there is something that is trying to take control of her mind and I thought that that might be interesting to see where that leads. Um, Ifan Ban Mezd also seems quite interesting as well as a character and we'll listen to his origin story. Once I was a crusader for the Divine Order. I pledged my life to Lucian the Divine. The war changed everything. He sent me to save the elves I grew up amongst. I arrived too late. Lucian ordered the use of Death Fog against the Black Ring. Annihilating everyone I once knew in the process. Now I'm a mercenary killer. One of the infamous Lone Wolves. And my next target is none other than Lucian's own son. Okay, so I was thinking about playing either one of these two characters. I think I'll go with Los, um, because she seems like a good character to make into something like... something like a witch. We have uh, Wayfarer here. Uh, as you can see, they do have their own uh, special skills. The witches have uh, something called Raise Bloated Corpse. Summons a corpse um, and it can explode at dealing physical damage, <laughs> which is kind of interesting. We've got uh, Chloroform here as well. 
uh, destroys magic armor and then tries to set sleeping which could be quite powerful we also have the mosquito swarms she's also got the maddening song uh, which turns characters mad and uh, that could be quite interesting as well to see how that turns out and she's got encourage to encourage uh, allies she's also ingenious so it gives her extra initiative which means um, basically initiative um, determines where you go in combat, uh, at least in part, and getting the initiative, uh, getting the extra initiative means you're going to be um, attacking first in combat. Uh, Thrifty gives plus one to bartering, I'm not sure how um, how important that's going to be, but uh, we do get to change her appearance as well, even with the preset characters you can go through and uh, I think I may give her, I think the Sable Let's go with Sable. The face, I think, is quite good. There are 10, 10 choices to choose from. I do like uh, face number seven. Hairstyle, whoa, uh, probably not. That actually looks pretty good. Uh, there's, this one looks uh, looks pretty good as well. I may actually go with this one here for a, a jester slash witch character. We can change the, uh, the hair color here as well, give her something I think that looks pretty cool. Facial features, we're going to leave that. We can put scars on, on her face. Oh, there's none. There's none for uh, for Los. And she has the voice of a trickster, and that's uh, that's preset there. Uh, let's have a quick look. We have the attributes. We can edit these. Uh, finesse, intelligence, and constitution, and that sounds pretty good to me. Although I would like to give her wits, but I think I think I'll leave it on Constitution for now. Uh, we get to change her abilities. She's currently got Scoundrel, uh, Necromancer, heals you whenever you deal damage directly to Vitality, uh, Persuasion. So I think that's all pretty good. Um, Talent. She's currently got the leech talent, which I'm going to remove. I'm going to give her something a little bit more interesting here. Something like a uh, pet pal. So she can talk to the animals. And uh, hopefully we'll be able to get a little bit more information there. Uh, she's got the tags. Now, these tags are determined, uh, determined, I think, some of the plot lines. So we're going to leave all of these. She's a jester and a mystic. And uh, she's also Los, so we'll see what happens there. Uh, another interesting thing is we get to choose the instrument here um, at important moments during the game. So we've got the cello. You, you, you may be able to hear that uh, in the background there. The tambura, and I really like this flute. I think that is just beautiful. So we're going to leave the, the, ba the Bansuri here, this kind of flute, and we are going to start the game. I'd planned. I was shackled and collared and sent to Fort Joy. I'd come here to kill God Woken, but instead I became part of their story.
And so it begins. This is Los. Um, lying down here. She's had the collar attached. Damn. And here I was, hoping my upstairs visitor was just playing tricks on me. Uh, if we press Alt, we can see all the things that we can pick up. The Grinning Skull. Five new journal updates are available. Can I pick up this Grinning Skull? Who are you? Nobody. <laughs> okay, so it, it sounds like we're on a boat. Everything is, is moving uh, slightly. We do have some journal updates. There's somebody over here. Magister Siwan. Let's have a look at the journal updates. First of all, the thing inside. A bad gig landed me on the wrong side of the Magisters, but this Fort Joy can't be as bad as I've heard. If the voice in my head will stay down to a shout, I could make it through this alive. Uh, the Magisters, though he's a sorcerer and wears a source collar, Bishop Alexander continues to lead the Divine Order. As he is the son of Lucian, and it is widely assumed he will succeed him as the next Divine. Uh, chapter 1, we've got uh, notes for Chapter 1 as well. I'll go through this quickly. Lucian the, the Divine. Champion of the Seven Gods, Lucian is Alexander's father. Uh, he's dead. He sacrificed himself to defeat the forces of the Void, uh, leaving his son Alexander, that's uh, Bishop Alexander, to preside over the next chapter of Riv Riverland's history. Okay. The years that followed were plagued by the menace of Void Woken. These beasts were drawn to source magic. This is such a dear lending it to me. Okay, so a great pogrom has commenced against sorcerers, those who show the most skill in the manipulation of source. Um, and they are given this uh, source collar so that they can't uh, cast any spells and sent off to places like Fort Joy, which is uh, where we are at the moment. Uh, we the sorcerers are being transported to Fort Joy, an ancient fortress on a remote island. Uh, the collar. I'm bound by a magical collar that cannot be removed. So I guess one of the first things we need to do is figure out how to remove this collar so that we can actually use our skills. Um, is there anything on this table that we can find? There's some laboratory stuff. I may as well just empty potion bottle. That might come in handy. Oh, I can turn it off. A small tome. Got some books over here as well. Um, oh, bookshelf. There's nothing, nothing in this I'm just, I'm just picking up all of this stuff. What? <laughs> Strange jar. You can right click on it. Okay. Well, I've no idea what this stuff is going to do. Um, I guess I might find out a little bit later. Let's check out this barrel before we speak with uh, the Magister there. There's nothing there. I guess I shouldn't assume oh, there'd be up. anything in these, uh, yes. these barrels. Like <clears throat> you snugly enough. Nice bit of work, even if I do say so myself. There. Not too tight, I hope. The collar, I mean. Oh, not to worry. Every dog has to get used to its leash. In the meantime, your next stop will be Magister William. All passengers have to be registered in the ship's manifest, and he's the chap in charge of the logs. You'll find him on the other side of this deck, in the officers' quarters. So we will do. We uh, we do have specific answers here, depending on what tags and what skills we have. Is this the ram's head, Lou? <laughs> She's a bit of a jester, so we do have uh, those unique uh, conversation points there. Why, for <clears throat> my peace of mind, of course. Why don't you try casting one of those source spells of yours? See what happens. Okay. Currents of magic surge inside you, boiling, bursting, then breaking, only to fade back into your soul like rain into the earth. My, look at the concentration on your face. Or will, but no result. There you have it, see? The collar's function. It neuters you, of sorts. Makes you unable to cast source. For your own peace of mind, of course. Yours and the whole world's. All right. Enough about that. No lesions. No trauma. Good gods! There's, there's been a murder here. Somebody has been murdered in the next room. There's a lot of people uh, wandering around. <coughs> Excuse me. Uh, let's have a chat with these uh, these guards first of all. Behind the magister, a bloodied mass lies in a heap. Gore and limbs lie at odd angles. You can't make out a face amid the mess. There's been a murder. 
A sorcerer was killed by one of your own. Lucky you were busy getting your collar fitted at the time, or you'd be a suspect like the rest of them. How do you know? Is investigating. She'll figure out who did it. How do you know they weren't Always killed by one done. of the magisters? It's a small ship. <coughs> His name was Finn. Oddball. Looked to me like he saw something he wished he hadn't before he came here. We'll find out who did it. One way or another. Okay. A young magister stands pale and silent. Her knuckles whiten around her weapon as you pass. Uh, she doesn't have anything to say. Right, so let's uh, let's go inside here and uh, chat with uh, Magister side, Waters. Burns me up this happened under our protection. We're extremely lucky no void walk and follow the source that did this. Maybe it wasn't the source that did this. Finn didn't see it <coughs> like that. He was desperate for us to help him. Two things scared the living daylights out of him. His own shadow and his own source. We'll find out who did this. Speaking of... She looks up at you with a mirthless smile. I was on duty in your room when the murder happened. You were asleep the whole time. Didn't even stir. You're one of the only indisputably innocent people on the ship. Unless you can commit murder in your sleep, of course. Uh, not that I know of. I thought as much. Listen. I could use someone to keep their ears open among the passengers. Sometimes they clam up in front of a uniform. Bring me a good lead, and I'll throw in a shiny gold coin for you. How about that? I don't really know if I want to help out the, the magisters. You know what? Screw you. Well, hmm. It depends, though. It depends on, on the situation. So, we'll, we'll keep that in mind. I think. Thanks. I just want to catch whoever did this before they hurt anyone else. Um, I mean, they have kidnapped us and put us aboard this ship and, and put a collar on us, so I don't really want to be helping them. Associates. It In does fact, look pretty bad, though. To spend in time. Oh, we just lost attitude. She views us a little bit more negatively now. Uh, if we right-click on them, we can examine them. And it will show us their attitude towards us. So we just lost five, so it looks like we're neutral with uh, with waters now. Uh, it tells us their vitality and magical armor, which is quite interesting that we do get all of that information as well. Uh, is there anything in here that we can nab? Yes, it looks like we have basically great. nothing nothing on us at the moment. I'll need to um, write to headquarters right away. Uh, looks like we can head upstairs as well. Let's head on through. Um, just pick up everything we can here. Aha! Thirteen gold. And uh, some stained pants, physical armor. We've got some leggings there as well. Let's go and have a look in our inventory. Oh, we've got the threadbare pants. We picked up some stained pants. Okay, so I'm going to switch those over. I think I can just double click. Yeah, there we go. That's a little bit better. That gives us at least one protection there, which is good. Uh, let's head upstairs. I'll need to find another way. Okay, I guess it's understandable that we uh, we can't get up to the deck because we are prisoners here. Let's go through this door. Luckily, everything else seems to be open. There's some rope here which may come in handy. Uh, a little bit later. Uh, we've got some children over there. Uh, some sacks of, I guess it's food or flour or something. No, there's nothing in there. And Sibyl. Well, you've got this wolf on a leash now. As soon as the Inquisitor gets here. Oh, there's the Red Prince. The Red Prince is. Was he one of the, uh, the preset characters there? Let's go and have a chat with these children over here, first of all. And uh, we'll do a bit of a loop around, see what see what we can find. That's right. We're we're a little bit famous. I know who you are. You're a singer. My mum likes you. Oh gee. Wow! 
You look cool. I like your hair. I like your eyes. I like your colour. I have one too. Shut up. And uh, there is a guard on patrol over here, Magister Jalen, and he's got a little dog. <clears throat> uh, name. Uh, I guess there's no reason why I can't tell him my name. Well, you aren't here on my list, Scrammy. We're trying to. Okay, but there is a dog here, and uh, we can talk to the dog because we have pet talent. No. Go. The dog doesn't like me very much. You saucer of blood, no go, Buck. Okay. Um, 